Governments struggle with information systems that are stovepiped or siloed. Many of these are custom-built, closed, and tightly bound applications. Therefore, a transformation is needed to automate end-to-end -end processes that span silos, provide better visibility, and enable greater collaboration and agility to support more demanding operations. Business process management from IBM can enable the necessary transformation. As the administrator in charge of our governmental response to emergencies and disasters, I know that our departmental and agency IT systems are all functioning efficiently and effectively. However, they have no interoperability, and an individual staff member's access is limited to only those systems operated by the member's own agency. To make matters worse, there is no method for the staff of our several departments and agencies having emergency response duties and responsibilities to communicate and collaborate with each other easily and quickly. Therefore, we are vulnerable to slow or no response when an emergency situation occurs. We must devise a process to enable collaborative response on demand. This would mean that responsible staff could obtain immediate and direct communication with each other and with any information technology systems that could provide them with necessary information and functional assistance. To design such a process, we need to visualize our current IT system resources and assign staff for all departments and agencies. From there, we can all collaborate to determine best practices and to design a new process that supports quick and easy staff communication, collaboration, and system interoperability. We need capabilities to model processes graphically and intuitively, design collaboratively with several tools and subject matter experts, and predict and simulate outcomes. Business process management from IBM provides these key capabilities. BPM from IBM will enable us to align agency and departmental objectives through the use of key performance indicators, graphically represent interagency processes, customize process views for different audiences, and document processes for legislative and regulatory compliance. Due to the interagency nature of these processes, it is important to design them collaboratively by involving multiple experts using common design tools. BPM from IBM enables us to share process models, forms, KPIs, and metrics with stakeholders, import models from ARIS, Microsoft PowerPoint, and Excel, and other tools as needed, comment and review using an easy-to-use web-based interface, and leverage pre-built agency process templates as needed. In order to predict and optimize process outcomes, BPM from IBM enables us to run what-if simulations to predict results before developing a process, simulate running processes using actual real-time data to optimize them further, identify and resolve bottlenecks, and estimate cost savings before deploying. Once the process model is completed, it must be deployed and executed. BPM from IBM allows for the rapid and seamless deployment of process models within the IBM BPM suite using Business Process Execution Language, or BPEL. The process models and monitoring dashboards that we create will be implemented by IT staff using reusable components and a runtime environment that operates on IBM's WebSphere process server. Process Server provides the scalability and reliability that we need for this mission-critical application. Once that is accomplished, our program and service staff members can take charge of the operation. In order to achieve the agility needed for these interagency processes, we must define staff roles that are authorized and empowered to make frequent and rapid changes to the process. Specifically, we must ensure that Administrators are empowered to affect process changes. IT is able to appropriately govern and control process changes. And process changes can be directly deployed from the model very rapidly. IBM's BPM suite enables administrative and program staff to modify processes 
with non-technical, user-friendly interfaces and information presented in a business context that non-technical staff can understand. This includes capabilities for role-based collaboration concerning process objectives, performance, metrics, and modifications. BPM from IBM enables administrators to better collaborate and align with IT staff, resulting in faster response and better control, process rule and policy consolidation in one place for better management, and significant reductions in end-to-end -end execution time and infrastructure requirements. Regarding the unlocking of siloed or stove-piped functionality, IBM's BPM will enable us to achieve faster time to value in assembling new solutions, leverage processes enabled by SOA for more flexibility and agility, increase IT service and assets value through reuse, and achieve greater than 50% reuse of IT assets in some processes. By using BPM from IBM, government will be able to realize greatly improved processes that leverage real-time system interoperability and staff collaboration, particularly through reuse of legacy systems or components in newly composed processes, and resultant reduced system inventory and staffing levels. With the IBM BPM suite tools and methods in place, we will be able to automate processes end-to-end, -end, transform insights into action, and adapt and respond dynamically. In particular, BPM enables real-time visibility for smarter decisions and actions. We will be able to monitor key business objectives, anticipate operational risks, and respond with decisive action by modifying the process design accordingly and immediately. For instance, using the BPM monitor and dashboard interfaces that can be implemented, we might notice that the time to connect KPI that we have set for teleconferencing connection is regularly exceeded. The dashboard would demonstrate both when this happens and the concurrent values of other parameters. We might observe that the time to connect KPI is often exceeded in direct proportion to the current number of user connections to the computerized branch exchange or CBX when the next user dials in. For example, we might note that the KPI is set at 5 seconds, but that it increases to an unacceptable 30 seconds as the number of CBX connections approaches the configuration capacity of 1000. With this observation in mind, we will be able to use the BPM modeler to depict alternative configurations of or additions to the CBX in order to maintain an acceptable KPI as the number of connections approaches the maximum. By running the monitor against each new model, we can determine the most cost-effective configuration before making any physical hardware or software changes, which require time and money to implement. With BPM, we can implement the selected reconfiguration immediately for significantly less cost and effort. They can adapt and respond rapidly by detecting actionable patterns in disparate event flows, initiating actions including automated tasks and notifications, recording process performance data to process models for continuous process optimization, and achieving greater collaboration and improved command and control. Our governmental agencies will be able to empower their staffs by aligning administrative and IT staff around process objectives, aggregating and correlating information from disparate sources, monitoring personnel workflow and key performance indicators using a role-based and unified user interface, making smarter process decisions, and modifying processes rapidly to adjust operational results. With BPM from IBM, we will be able to create a virtual interagency organization to expedite our responses to disaster, security, and other emergency situations. BPM will enable end-to-end -end process automation, transformation of insight into action, and dynamic adaption and response to changing conditions. As a result, we will be able to deliver more economical, efficient, and effective service.